The goal of this video is to demonstrate how to move an object in Unity using the rigidbody.move position functionality. Uh, this is best used for when you want to directly set the position in the next frame or the next fixed update frame in this case. So to start, I'm going to set up a basic scene by adding a 3D object. I'll add a cube in the hierarchy, call it ground, and then update the position scale to make it look like more of a flat surface that we can use as the ground. Then note that the main camera, the ground, and all these objects will have their blue arrow pointing in what we'll call the forward direction. I'm going to add a cube. And then I'm actually going to add a component to that cube. Call it, and it'll be a rigid body. And now I need to create a C sharp script. I actually already made one, so I'll open that up. And then I'll delete the two comments that come standard. And I'll add a rigid body, call it RB, and a public in speed set it to three. In the start function, I'm going to get the rigid body component from the object. That'll be done via RB equals get component rigid body. You can also actually use add component if the object doesn't already have it. In update, I'm going to add a float horizontal equals input dot get access horizontal. And then the same thing for vertical. So vertical equals input dot get access vertical. And then I actually want to show what those mean. So if I save that, go back to Unity, go to Edit, Project Settings, Input Manager, you'll see the first two values there are horizontal and vertical. Horizontal is left and right on the arrow keys. Uh, vertical is up and down or S and W. So you have the WASD keys for that. So going back to code, I'm going to set vector three move equals new vector three, that horizontal zero, and then vertical. And then RB dot move position, transform dot position plus that move variable times time delta time times speed. And that should be everything. So I'm going to save, go back to unity, drag the script onto the cube. I can set the speed in the inspector. I'll set it to eight, hit play. And then when I use WASD or the arrow keys, you can see this actually doesn't look quite right. I'm not moving very fast and it, it doesn't really look smooth. And to get it to look more smooth and actually like move at the speed it's supposed to, I need to go back to the code and actually just change one thing. And that is update to fixed update. This function is called every fixed frame rate frame instead of just every frame. So it's normalized, which is what you want. So now that I've set that up, if I go back to Unity and hit play, the movement functions as intended with WASD. I can actually go ahead and put a material on there just so it's easier to see. So WASD or the arrow keys moves in all directions except for up and down. And that's it.